Okay, so you've passed final inspection and now it's time to get PTO. PTO is permission to operate from the utility company. At the very, very, very beginning of our journey, you signed the California Homeowners um, Consumer Protection Guide for Homeowners, if you live in California, you signed the solar agreement and you signed the net energy metering agreement. During our solar presentation, I went over um, how solar works and how solar works is you get the solar panels on your rooftop, the, 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 the energy that's generated during the day um, is going to power your home. If you don't have a backup battery, excess energy that you don't use immediately, it's gonna go out to the grid, out and their utility company is gonna sell your power that you your solar system has generated and sell it to your um, neighbors or to businesses around you. And they're gonna give you a net energy metering credit to use at a later time. Later time might be um, when the sun is going down and you need to pull energy from the grid to um, power your home. It's gonna be from a credit that you generated earlier in the day or earlier in the year, but you will always know where you're at with your net energy metering credits on your utility bill. So you'll see that every month on your utility bill. And in the summer, that's when most, the vast majority of our energy is generated, the excess energy that we will use in the winter time. And depending on when you go solar is dependent on when you get PTO and what you're gonna start off. Are you gonna start off at with a, with a, with a negative credit, like in the, kind of in the hole, and then as summer comes, you, you start adding credits and you're gonna get yourself out of the hole. The goal with net metering is to end every year at a net zero or with a little bit of a credit. If you have batteries, that's gonna help, and I will make a video about how batteries work, but for the purposes of what to expect when going solar and during the uh, PTO or permission to operate stage, this is where you get the, um, the thumbs up from the utility company that you can safely turn on your solar system and be solar powered. And that's when the net metering kicks in because um, of net energy metering uh, agreement that you sign with the utility company. So it, you're grid tied when you have solar and it's, it's, you're still gonna be somewhat um, connected to the utility company and that's for safety purposes and it's just the way it works. Uh, you will pay a monthly generation or we call it a connection fee, but you're gonna pay about 10 to $12 in any of the utility companies in California for a monthly connection fee. And then you're gonna pay non-bypassable charges, which are minimal. And then you're gonna continue to pay gas. But this is where the money savings comes in. Instead of paying the utility company to generate all that electricity that your home used to need and then charge you for transmission and distribution, your solar system is going to be your solar, uh, your power, your power plant and you're making payments just for that equipment and for all, everything that just happened. The site survey, the engineering, the installation, the labor, the the cost of equipment, everything is all inclusive in the, that monthly payment that's typically, it will st it will always be fixed. It can't go up unless you keep that tax credit, um, but it can't go down. You can pay off your loan sooner, but you're gonna see savings and it's gonna be very exciting for you. So when you get PTO, that means you're solar powered. It's very, very exciting. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk about true up, what to expect with true up and what happens if after you go solar, what you should do with monitoring your system. So I'll see you in the next video.